We're here at Ocean View High School here in Huntington Beach. It's the Nationals of the CYSA. A package of great skill, determination by under 14 boys is what you're about ready to see as we open it up in just a moment. NHB against USA Red. And we'll be back in just a moment with the starting lineups and the action. Let's get the lineup for North Huntington Beach Black Weston Ball Club. Dave Weston is the manager. And the starting lineup will read this way. Juan Carlos Dominguez, he's the stopper, number 10. Number 12, Salvador Padilla is a forward. Number 13, Kurt McGowan at fullback. Number 15, Manuel Padilla is the stopper. When he gets into the contest of the second half as the goaltender, number 16, there'll be James Daniels. Number 18, Jaime Navarro is a fullback. Number 19, Alvaro Lua is a fullback, and he'll come in at time to time. Nestor Castillo is a halfback. He's number three. Gavin Shack is a halfback, number four. The sweeper, number five, Martin Rocha. Number seven, Aaron Berrigan is a forward. Number eight, at center half, Hugo Casillas. He, he's number eight. At number 10, at center half, Julio Vargas. And number six, the halfback, Chad McGowan. Now let's get the lineup for USA Red out of the El Cajon area. They are head coached by Scott Haybright. Number two, Marvin Lamas is the goaltender. Number four, Brett Peace is marking defender. Number five, Leonard Mora is a midfielder. Number six, at mid, Derek Trees. At mid, number seven, Armando Rojas. At mid, number eight, Sean Ricketts. Number nine is the striker, William Burrer. Number 10, Kareem Berdeha is a midfielder. Number 13, Dusty Hambryant is midfield. At number 14 is Tim Wall. Number 15, Tim Wall is a midfielder. Number 15, Walter Weinman is a sweeper. The striker, number 16, Zach hum Hamel. And number 18, Mike Braxma at a marking defender position. And that's your lineup for USA Red. USA Red, of course, with the red numbers on the back of their blue striped sleeve jersey with the blue shorts. And NHB Black Weston in the black, a lot of them on one knee, saying a couple prayers as we get it started here in the Nationals of the CYSA. The winner goes to the regionals in June in Casper, Wyoming. Greg Porter, happy to be with you here at Ocean View High School, a site that's going to go away as far as CYSA play is concerned. The championship of the CYSA in California will be, in Southern California will be at the A.B. Brown Sports Complex in a couple of weeks. Trying to control now, USA Red in the middle of the field there. William Burrer drops it back. Kareem Bereha, or Berdeha, and Berdeha sends a long ball in the corner, but running on to it that time was the sweeper, Rocha, and he gets it, knocks it out of play, and from the end line to throw in. Berdeha trying to control, but it's taken away now. And North Huntington Beach control, a long ball sent across midfield. <clears throat> Play back now in the defensive half of North Huntington Beach, running onto it there is Sean Ricketts with some speed. Ricketts from the outside crosses it, but it's too far behind the goal net. Manning, the goal, Chris Cluey. The goalkeeper for NHB. And of course, in the Nats is Martin Lamas to the right of the picture when the ball comes in that play. Now pushing it up the field is NHB. NHB, a ball club that came in beating the Cal Heat 7 0. And here's a shot and a score and a quick goal 
for NHB by Julio Vargas. The center halfback, Vargas, able to tuck it by the goaltender, Lamas, and it's quickly one to nothing. NHB, this Weston ball club can put the ball in the net, and they did that time with Vargas's goal. So one to nothing. And USA now down by one. I'm going to have to play a little catch up here. As I mentioned, they could put it in the net. They beat Cal Heat seven to nothing. And then they beat the uh, Cerritos United Soccer Club by a score of three to one. And USA came into this tournament and they did it by so far the play. They have uh, tied in their first game and then they won their last game by a score of three to one. NHB with control. And pass into the center now and off the head and so now it is going to be a uh, violation so USA Red with the free kick somebody with the body on that last play Mora as they get the passing attack going the red in the corner to Berdeja Berdeja now on the ball Berdeja is crossing pass and it's on the net but a nice save that time by the goaltender, Chris Cluey. And he gets a restart. And they're looking for Man. He is onside. The shot and a score. The goal by Aaron Berrigan. But let's see. They may have said he was offsides or wasn't onsides. I guess it was onside, so didn't see the flag. And so it is two to nothing as Berrigan scores now. Two to nothing, NHB quickly moving on uh, USA Red. USA Red without four of their players. One of them happens to be a very fine baseball player at the age of 14. And he also is a wrestler too. Type of baseball player that they don't want to pitch to. The kind of big power hitter. And the name of Chad Hines. Back is with it is the uh, NHB ball club now. Centering pass. Intercepted by the red. And USA trying to get their counterattack going here in their own defensive third. <coughs> ball to the outside now. Brett Peace strikes one up to his teammate there. Burr, Burr now on a ball, sends it towards the center, and it's intercepted. And now NHB with the counter. And here's a long ball played down. Two defenders there, and still being able to get his foot on it. That time was Berrigan. However, the goaltender being able to make the save in Lamas. Way to go, Zach. Red now, they're trying to get it across midfield, but it's taken away by NHB in a center circle. And a nice head tap over to one of the players, Vargas. And out of the outside, Padilla to the outside, back to Vargas. Vargas on a ball, try to go back to Padilla, but getting to it first there is Lamas. Lamas making the sprawling save coming off the line. And Lamas sends it up, but it's intercepted quickly there by Casillas. Casillas on a ball. Casillas being Mark heavily. Casillas with some space now. Casillas sends it in the middle, and he finds one of his teammates there, but he can't control it as the red defenders are there to steal it away. To the outside now is Mora. Mora on the ball, but it's knocked out of play. And now Mora will throw it in. 
Leonard Mora, the midfielder, working it over to his teammate here, Armando Rojas, who sends it across midfield, but it's intercepted by NHB. And now here they come with their counter again. They lead two to nothing. Here's a long shot and a save by Lamas, a shot there by Vargas from long distance. A couple of bounces, but Lamas is able to stay with it. And a whistle and a violation there by Rojas. And so the black will have it again on the restart, but intercepted there. Verdeja, and he sent it back over to Hambrick, Hambright. In the middle of the field, Casillas. Casillas working it back to his teammate. And a passing game for NHB as they kind of restart that offense, work it to the left side now. With their two to nothing lead here in the first half. On a day that is not too warm here in April, a leap year. 1996 as NHB now on the attack to the far side. Here in the qualifying round, the final game of the qualifying round as this ball is sent back upfield now. USA Red. Stolen away, Rocha play the sweeper. And now USA on their counterattack. They play to the near side now, trying to run it down. A couple of players there. Homel, and he kept it in on a nice play in the corner. Homel trying to get it back. And instead, it runs on the foot of uh, Berdeja. Kareem Berdeja shot. And just miss USA right inside the box, and it can't get a foot enough to power one by the goaltender, Chris Cluey. They had a couple opportunities as the good work from the outside of the corner. You like to have that from your wing players. Give me a good pass, and I'll see if I can put one past the net minder. They couldn't do it that time. Still down two to nothing. Back with it is NHB to the outside now. Well, it is Vargas. Vargas' is crossing pass is too far behind the Golden. And it's still two to nothing as Lamas will get the goal kick, or he may just decide to slingshot him with the arm. And he's gonna goal kick it as he puts it down. Trying to see if he can get another offensive attack going for USA Red as they played well on that last sequence. NHB intercepting, though, as they reduce the size of the field. Sending a long ball down, and Lamas able to make the save on one bounce. Standing nearby was Berrigan, number seven. Aaron Berrigan in the middle of the field for NHB. Berdeja, Kareem Berdeja now. Left foots it to the outside, and a nice hitter, but it's intercepted now. And it ricochets over towards the goaltender, Cluey, as he makes the save on one bounce. Chris staying with it. As a long distance shot by USA Red, trying to see if they can maybe get something by him with a long distance shot. NHB still leading two to nothing here in the first half. Kareem Berdeja, Berdeja. Dribbling and he passes it out to the outside now. Here's Leonard Mora's crossing pass is intercepted. USA players still in that box, but they can't control it. Stolen away now. And it might have been a handball by somebody in the red. We'll have the free kick. Not too far outside 18 yard box. He's holding somebody, but they don't call it inside the box. The star! Nice play by the red as they finally had somebody behind. The goaltender, Cluey, and it's now two to one. The Reds still staying with the attack that time. I believe it was number nine, William Burr, that got the goal. At any rate, it's two to one, NHB. 
Now with their lead cut in half. As USA Red in the last few minutes showing the ability to keep the pressure on and then to cash it in in that 18 yard box. Now the middle of the field there is Berdeja and a violation against NHB. Berdeja started. Berdeja working to the outside on a long ball pass sent to his teammate there, but Hovell. Couldn't get to it. Stolen away and sent up across midfield now. But USA Red defenders got the restart here. On a counter they come. To the near side now. Here's a long ball played in the corner. Running after it is Mora. Mora trying to find a way with some space to send a pass, a crossing pass. He's worked well in that corner. Mora's being marked toughly there, though. On a nice job by Jaime Navarro. It goes out of play. Navarro is work cut out for him on that play. And he was equal to the task. However, getting the corner kick, the CK, is Leonard Mora. The red down two to one. Mora's corner kick with the left foot. It's on the net. Can't get anybody to touch it. They finally do. And then it is now put up in the air and over the net and out of play. Nice try by the red. They again, try to tie it up. A nice corner kick by Leonard Mora to get him going again. Down two to one. Here comes NHB again. First half action here at Ocean View High School here in Huntington Beach. I'm Greg Porter. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Nationals of the CYSA, boys under 14, and a violation there. And it will be a free kick. Four tournaments in, or rather, four brackets in this CYSA Nationals. Group A, Group B, C, and D. And Group A, the NHB Mingo team, a team that is very devastating in Group A, along with OSC Botafongo, uh, might be a ball club that they may see in the ensuing action in the quarterfinals in the semis. In Group C, Corona United Eagles is a ball club to watch out for over there as this one heads over to Cluey. In Group D, the San Diego Surf, a team that has got four points. And, of course, the NHB Black Ball Club, who has not lost this Black Western Club, which has not lost in the tournament so far. And... It is a very, very strong team this year in tournament play. They won the Nomad Tournament, won the Surf Tournament. And as we go, and a shot, and a point-blank shot there with a lot of mustard on that one, but he couldn't quite get it to go in that upper near corner as Padilla bid to try to make it 3-1. to one. Padilla open there, and now we have a substitution for USA Red. That's Tim Wall coming into the contest. He's going to play the midfield position, number 14, for the Red. Marvin Lamas, the goal kick. Lamas' pass is intercepted there, but the Red come out with it momentarily now. Towards the middle of the field, looking for a striker. But the midfielders of NHB tightening up momentarily. However, they walk out with it now. In the corner now. After it is Zach Hamel. And this one will roll out of play as Hamel runs out of real estate. And so now they'll get the goal kick. NHB. And there's a good look. They had Martin Rocha. The sweeper. <laughs> Up towards the middle and USA Red now as a violation against NHB will get the counterattack going and here they go. Armando Rojas. Rojas still on the ball. Rojas right foots it to the outside but it's intercepted by the sweeper and sent up the field. Intercepted there though by 
<clears throat> Raxma. And it goes out of play. NHB now the throw in. Vargas, and he leaves it back for his teammate, who sends it to the wide side there. Man, NHB getting their counterattack going. Being marked heavily on the outside is Zach Hamel, the striker, putting pressure on that defender. That's what you want to do. Undoubtedly, a lot of these youngsters have had the opportunity to watch a lot of soccer over the years and obviously participate in a lot of soccer. Big thing going on now is a major league soccer and some teams in Southern California to get an opportunity for some of these young players to see the professional brand of soccer. Here's NHB now moving it up, advancing. NHB still on the ball there. Rick gets a shot and a score. And I believe that, let's see, we'll find out whether that goal was allowed or not. The shot was by Casillas. And if they teed up in the midfield, it is a goal. It looks like that's what's going to happen. So it is a goal, and they uh, now lead 3-1 to one as Casillas scores for bl the black. He really was there unmarked and easily was able to with a blast of a shot get it by Lamas. Braxma circles around and gives it off to Weinman. Weinman a sweeper fitting it up to midfield now. Still pu pushing the ball up was Burr coming back and a crossing pass is over the net. Three to one, NHB leads here in the first half. A team that could put a lot of goals in the net. And now here's a restart for the Black Weston. Two NHB ball clubs and play some real good soccer. North Huntington Beach Black Weston and North Huntington Beach Mingo. Kind of like an Alpha and Bravo, A and B. I'm sure some of you probably have those on your uh, TV setup, A and B switch. And it's kicked out of play. Here's going to be a throw in now for, or rather a free kick for NHB in their own defensive third. In the midfield on one bounce, controlling NHB momentarily, but it's intercepted by the red. And now NHB gets it back, though. Off the foot of Rocha, stolen away by the red. And Trees. Trying to pass it. And let's see, somebody with a body as coming up quickly there was Berdeja. And Berdeja might have been the violation. So NHB now with the free kick as starting it, restarting it was Casillas. Casillas already tallied once in this game in the goal statistics. Intercepted as that ball was sent towards the 18-yard box, the center. And it was a nice job done there by the marking defender, Braxma. As he was able to route it to the outside. 3-1 to one score. NHB leads as a restart for the USA Red. In USA in the midfield area. And winning at that time was Berdeja. Berdeja still staying on the ball. Berdeja left foots it to the outside to Mora, and Mora will not be able to run that ball down as Berdeja's pass is a little bit too long and 
with the breeze, the breeze going from left to right on this field. It might have slowed it up a little bit, but not enough to keep it in play for Mora. So the goal kick. And this one is fed to the near side. That's the first time they've done that in this contest. And a ball comes out of play near and behind us. Manager Dave Weston. And, or rather, head coach Dave Weston is manager Mary Weston. Assistant coach Juan Viveros. Trainer Jim. And March Martin Rocha is assistant coach, and he also does some training duties for NHB. On the other side of the coin, Scott Hambright is assisted by Don Kurpuski. Ball up in the air now. NHB trying to run onto it, but they can as the Red, keeping it in their own defensive half. It's knocked out of play. Three to one, NHB leading in the contest over USA Red out of the El Cajon area. And here comes North Huntington Beach's midfielder centering a centering pass there, and it was intercepted. However, they come back with it again now. Vargas, Vargas in the middle of the field. Vargas stops, makes a couple of moves around a poke step and sends it to the outside, looking for his teammate there, Gavin Shack, and he runs out of area. Gavin Shack, the halfback, trying to keep that offensive play going, but it's a little bit too far for Shack. And a goal kick will ensue, and a substitution also. Coming in now in a contest, Dusty Hambright, number 13 for USA Red, as Lamas gives it a ride. Intercepted now, and trying to follow it up there, but he wasn't able to pursue it was Padilla, as it was stolen away from him, but Padilla still around the ball again. Padilla's hard work to the outside, and now have an opportunity to see if he can feed it to a teammate on a cross, and it's a little bit long and right on the net, and Lamas is able to make the save. Stolen away now, and back is it is a black in the middle. Vargas, Vargas is chip shot, just missed the top corner of the net. Vargas tried to tuck it in the top corner of the net, and he almost got it in there. Vargas has been dangerous in this contest, and his ball club leads three to one here in the first half. Lamas brings it back into play. The nice, colorful. Yellowish jersey. Lamas electing not to send it a long way. And kind of a low pass there to Wyman. Wyman's pass is up in the air. Here's Wyman again to get it up in the air. To his teammate now. To the outside, Sean Ricketts, but he was marked heavily there. Ricketts gets it back. Stolen away, and they call a violation against NHB. And here's Ricketts to the outside with it. Ricketts with a lot of speed, but it's intercepted in the middle. However, it carries back. USA Red still on a good counter. Berdeja sends it to the near side. Mora keeps it in. Nice play. But running it down as nobody's there for the red. And now the black with their restart from their own end. Good passing, a very good passing team. Vargas now. Vargas on the ball. Vargas looks for his teammate over in the far side. And Padilla ran out of room there as it was sent out of play. However, it was knocked off a USA Red teammate. Or rather, team player. And the black. Vargas, and he's pushed there. And Vargas is going to get the free kick. Too much on the back that time by Brewer and Vargas will have the free kick. Going to try to get one on a banana kick in the box. Up in the air and over. A nice try by Lamas, but 
It did not go in the net, but Lama is trying to get up in the air and try to deflect it. Obviously learning some time ago that sometimes that's what you got to do. Get up off your feet and just use your hand to tip that soccer ball out of play. And now a corner kick now for NHB. And this one is off target as it hits the side of the net. Three to one score. NHB leads here in the first half. Greg Porter for George Landon and Video Sports Productions. Happy to have George on the, your camera today. Don't get an opportunity to do that. But when we do, it's always a nice thing to have. George has been doing this for some time. And he's actually been on the mic before as this one on uh, one bounce goes to Lamas. And Lamas gets it in the air. If you know of anybody else that would like to have a video production of uh, maybe their wedding or any kind of recital or any other kind of sport, including soccer, just give us a call at 549-9952 and we can help you on that uh, request. Here's NHB now with the counterattack. This one is sent towards Lamas and Lamas on the run gets it up in the air and that often helps out your offense but on a nice play he's able to get it around and he does a fine job that time. Chad McGowan. McGowan seizing the opportunity because if McGowan doesn't push up on that play now they've got an outnumbered attack going. But McGowan seeing that he needed to come up and make reduce the size of the field and get control of that ball in the midfield area. And he did a good job there. As Lamas with that last try was real good at it. There's McGowan again intercepting it. McGowan runs by it and now running onto it that time was Berdeja. Here's Mora, Mora in his own half. Pushing it up now. With a lot of speed there was Tim Wall, but it's intercepted as they cover well. And here's Vargas. Vargas in the middle of the field. Vargas falls down and loses the ball. And he wanted a call, but he doesn't get it. As the Red, with their counter, try to get something going, but NHB still has control. NHB real good in the midfield, and they're good from the wings as this shot was again from long distance and Lamas. Had to be in the right position to make the save, and he did. Three to one. He's made a few in this contest, and he's getting it up on some distance on his boots. From the 18-yard box and that, off that line. Stolen away now to the outside. Padilla trying to run it down, and a couple of players go down. Padilla is one of them. And now it's going to be a free kick as Padilla with the body overrunning a USA Red player. And a restart intercepted by Padilla. The Red still advancing it up. Brett Peace sends it out of play. Three to one, still the score. North Huntington Beach in the lead. And the CYSA boys under 14, final game of the qualifying round. And bracket B. Kicked out of play now. The other teams in group B, or bracket B, is uh, the Cal Heat and the C U S C Renegades. <laughs> and if you don't know what that means, that's Cerritos United Soccer Club. Lamas trying to get to it, and it's in the net. As Lamas was not able to get to it, he was shielded on the play, and the offensive player was able to get to it before he could. 
and able to tap it in the net, and it's now four to one. NHB, a ball club able to try and get to that net before you do, and they do it very well. And it can be physical as it showed that time around the net and try their best to do it legally. Now four to one by three goals. USA now in the first half being asked to get their offense going again as NHB kind of luring them in to a situation where they could just tuck one in and add another tally onto the score. That kind of a mindset, they kind of play a little possum type of a thing from time to time. You can just see the mental ability of these kids. North Huntington Beach. But the Red has shown their ability, despite not having four players that they had earlier in the season. And a throw in now by Burr. William Burr looking for his teammate there, and he finds him. And Tim Wall. Wall feeds it back to Mora. Now here's Burr. Burr is still on a ball, feeds it back to his teammate now. Braxma, Braxma to the wide side. Over to Weinman. Weinman works it over to Peace. Back to Weinman, and Weinman's pass is intercepted. Now Peace with it. And Peace advancing it up. And the passing attack working well as here's Mora. Mora with it. Mora with some space. Mora in the middle of the field as he changed directions and it went by the goaltender to the right, wide to the left of him. Nice play by Mora, but he wasn't able to stop the ball and just blast the shot from just inside that box. As that offensive attack worked real well that time, they kind of baited NHB into a position there in midfield, and then they were able to come out with it with the good passing. Not able to put one in the net, still down four to one. Braxma now. Braxma back to his teammate. And Wall trying to run that one down, couldn't do it. And stolen away by Vargas. And intercepted there. Stopped and controlled by Hambright to the outside, but there was a player there. Tim Wall trying to mark Vargas. And that's the end of the first half as that double emphatic whistle of the center referee. Don't go away. We'll have a little bit of music to what is being talked about at halftime. And we'll be right back with the second half of action in the CYSA Nationals in just a moment.
Okay, back to second half action. About ready to get started here. And uh, switching goaltenders, James Daniels will be playing goaltender now for North Huntington Beach in replace of Chris Cluey. Teams going from left to right is USA Red, and from right to left is North Huntington Beach. North Huntington Beach, a ball club who scored four goals in the first half. Aaron Berrigan scored one of them. Hugo Casillas scored another. Julio Vargas scored a goal, and also Padilla, Salvador Padilla, scored the other goal. And the lone goal for the USA Red in the first half was scored by William Brewer, number nine. NHB on the attack again with a 4-1 to one lead. This one up in the air, but coming out to make the save for the red is Lamas. Lamas had a very busy first half. And he undoubtedly will have a busy second half. As NHB will continue to put the pressure, but USA down by three goals needs to try and keep those busy attempts to a very minimum and then try to get some tallies in the net themselves. NHB at this point can really play a defensive thing as it just hits the post and bounces off to the outside on a shot there by Padilla. Padilla's bid just missed, and it would have been 5-1. to one. <laughs> NHB, a team that at this point, leading by three goals, can just hold on and basically, even if three goals would be scored by the Red, they would still advance into the quarterfinals via their victories coming into this contest, as they already have four of them. Hustling was Burr, the lone goal scorer, and he is creating something here as Mora to the outside now. Mora still on the ball. Mora circles and feeds it back to his teammate. Rojas now back to Burr in the middle to the outside, and he tried to get it to Berdeja, and he kicked it upfield, but pinching in was Braxma, and out the center of the field. Ricketts, and a whistle against NHB. So the red now, teeing it up there is Armando Rojas, number seven. Rojas for the red, on a free kick, and it's on the low side, and a save, first save of the contest for James Daniels. Daniels opening up here in the second half as the goaltender, the netminder for the Black Weston Club. And undoubtedly, they probably got that uh, last name from their manager, Dave Weston. And M manager Weston has a son and a save that time by the USA Red has a grandson that is sick and cannot play but his name is Andy Weston and that's one of the reasons why manager Weston decided to continue to coach or come back and coach for this North Huntington Beach soccer club here USA Red now in their own defensive half Ball up in the air. NHB trying to control as the red on a counterattack trying to get it going as it goes across midfield. But picking it up there very quickly was Martin Rocha. Rocha on a ball again, number five. Rocha getting a pass. Rocha still on the ball now. And it gets stolen away. And now he'll feed it back to his teammate. And Dusty Hambright sends it in. 
towards the center now. And stealing it away. Nice job by Zach Hummel. And there's going to be a yellow card issue. <laughs> Excuse me there. The yellow card issued against the NHB player. We're teeing it up there is Armando Rojas for a free kick. And a yellow card being the warning in soccer. If you get another one, then you're out of the contest. And they use a red colored card on that particular scenario. The offensive attempt stolen away and going down hard there, running after it. Aaron Berrigan, he scored one of the goals as he was being marked heavily. A throw in from the far touch line, controlling it. Kurt McGowan to the outside, but coming out with it is the red. Down the middle and coming way off the line is James Daniels. Daniels way upfield, and boy, is that a bad situation that could occur, because if Daniels misses that ball, there's going to be one in the net behind him. But he takes the gamble, and he's able to reduce the size of the field, but back with it are the red. To the far side, Leonard Mora. Mora with one player marking him. Nice move. Mora with a nice step, and he tried to recontrol the ball, and it was knocked out of play, and it was going to be a CK as Leonard Mora created the offensive opportunity from the outside and at pressure as giving them a corner kick. And going to take it is Derek Trees. Trees from the far side. Trees want to get one on the 18-yard box, as 14-year-olds can do on one easy shot. This one's up in the air by a NHB player, a couple of players, and they do a good job with the air control to get it out of there. However, sent back down on one bounce and getting up in the air to get it just in time was James Daniels. Up in the air was Zach Hamel, and he almost was able to hit it by Daniels. But Daniels being able to see it well and stay with it. Here's Lamas now. As the defense gets it to him and it was stolen away. Boy, it could be a dangerous play that time as it's stolen away by Padilla. Padilla, who has scored one goal in this game, Salvador. On it, and it's knocked out one backline player covering well that time as the goalie was down. Nice job by the Red Defenders to keep it from being a 5-1 to one contest here in the second half. On the ball now to the far side is Casillas. Casillas still on it. His centering pass up in the air. Intercepted by the Red. Here's a shot and a save by Lamas. A nice shot that time by Lua. All right, let's go, Zach. That was Alvara Lua, and he almost was able to get it by, but getting there to that far post was Lamas. And back now, NHB with the counterattack again. NHB, a ball club who can strike from the long distance, or they'll try to beat you from short distance. Lamas makes a great save on a play as the man was right in front of him, the striker. He was all alone, and Lamas decided to take his body and smother that soccer ball. Nice job by Marvin Lamas. Here's a throw in now. Lamas has been asked to do a lot of things in this game, and he's undoubtedly one of the main reasons why it is only four to one. As NHB can put him on in the net. And they have done that for four in the first half. Lamas being asked to do quite a few things here already early in the second half. And play getting a little more physical as it ensues. <laughs> nice turnaround job by Vargas. Vargas spinning the defender around, getting into a teammate, but then now it's taken away by the red player. And it comes out freely. The NHB now 
as a centering pass is intercepted and sent to the near side. Now try to run it down is Burr, and Burr can't control. Burr now continues to use his body to shield the defender, and he's able to get a free kick out of it. Nice play by Burr. He gets it over to his teammate there, Berdeja, into the corner now. Ricketts, Ricketts trying to get around the defender, and he can't quite do it as it's stolen away, and the Weston Ball Club has it now, but it's stolen away again by the Red as Berdeja was able to steal it away, but he couldn't control as they covered well and sent it upfield now across midfield, running it down in the corner now is Berrigan, and nice job of marking him was Braxma. A marking defender, Braxma is titled on his team. And he did a good job there as Berrigan had a burst of steam to the outside. Here's a centering pass up in the air. And USC Red with a good defense there in the box. And now here's the counter. Berdeja sends it down on a long ball. It's intercepted. Intercepted nicely that time by Kurt McGowan. McGowan doing a good job as a fullback. Here's a long shot. A crossing pass could be, but no, it goes out of play. And now we have some substitutions for USA Red as they're down 4-1. to one And they try to get some fresh players in there and try and see if they can get some offense continuing to put the pressure on James Daniels and company. Coming in there is Dusty Hambright. Dusty, number 13, of infielder. In the middle of the field, and now with a lot of English, it spins towards the outside. And trying to run it down is Mora. He goes out of play, and Mora will throw it in for the red. Mora's throw in to Rojas. Rojas now with some speed. Rojas sends it by a defender. Here's Hamel. He sends it a save by Daniels up in the air. And Daniels Height was able to help him that time. And Zach Kamel with a shot. Now the ball played back upfield. And Red controls it again. Here's one in the far corner. Berdeja. Berdeja stops the soccer ball. Berdeja makes a nice move around one player, but it is stolen away. But it still goes on to a Red player in the middle of the field. They still control. Pass to the outside now. Running on to it. And still controlling is Ricketts. Ricketts being marked heavily. Ricketts still controls the soccer ball over to Burr. Burr being marked there. Burr now try to give and go back to Ricketts, and it's off his foot. And it, let's see, it, might, it was off the North Huntington Beach player's foot. And so they'll be able to continue the offensive maneuver here. Here in the second half, down by three goals. Trying to get... Something to where they can get it in the net and cut into the lead. The three-goal lead by NHB. They don't have to win this game. They can just tie it and still go to the quarterfinals. And NHB content to try and play defense when they have to. Not allow anything of a big chance in the middle of the field. And now sent up. And running it down there is Casillas. Casillas to the outside to Vargas. Vargas now look for a teammate. It's intercepted as they had spread out the field and the red come up with it. And now here comes the red again with their counterattack in midfield to the outside now. Ricketts, Ricketts pass is intercepted as he was looking for a teammate and now they get it to Berdeja. Berdeja on the intercept but Berdeja can't stay on the ball and it's stolen away by NHB. Good one-on-one -on -one play when they have to do it as Vargas now runs onto it. Spread open field Vargas with a lot of space sends it over to the outside to his teammate now still on the ball. Vargas Shot and off a of Lovis into the net. 
a point blank shot there, and Lamas tried to just put his hands in front of that ball and knock it down, but it was just too hard, and it's now five to one. I believe that goal was by Vargas. Number seven. And Berrigan, that is his second goal of the contest. And it's five to one. Remember, in their first game, or in one of their games, they scored seven goals, so they have the ability to do that as NHB. And the Red just trying to keep find a way where they can get something in the net or try to keep up with the amount of goals being put in the net. Vargas, and he is bodied and knocked down hard as it goes out of play, or actually still kept in in the far side, far corner over there. Here's a free a throw in pass as it went out of play. In the middle of the field, NHB still continuing the pressure and all the extra seconds and minutes that they control on a bicycle try and not quite connecting there, the NHB player. To the near side now. Gavin Shack was trying to run it down and is kicked out of play and a score five to one. Four goals scored in the first half and one goal scored in the second half for NHB. As they continue to try to make it to the AB sports complex and an opportunity to try and win the nationals of the CYSA South. The winner goes to the regionals in Casper, Wyoming. <laughs> NHB, a team that last year was able to do quite well as they made it to the quarterfinals. And they have just improved on that this year. The NHB Mingo team, the other team that played uh, prior to this game and was able to win their game, was a team that in the under 14 won the championship in 1995 over the Cor Corona United Eagles by a score of four to two. And they have some very, very colorful uniforms as we were able to see some of those at halftime. Maybe some of the most colorful uniforms that uh, are in any of this California youth soccer uh, play, either for the boys or the girls at any level. Very, very nice. And they're sponsored by Adidas, and uh, Coca-Cola is also involved in the soccer jerseys of the NHB Mingo. Or rather... Uh, Correction on that Corona United Eagles, that is. Hey. In the middle of the field now, Burr trying to get it over his teammate as he does to Berdeja. Berdeja and Burr trying to work it around a lot of defenders, but again, they continue to stiffen up. And now they are able to get it back. That is the red. NHB again covering well for each other, coming back that time and stealing it away. The Red with an opportunity in the middle of the field. They couldn't get it going, but now here they go again on the counterattack. Ricketts. Ricketts' long pass is into the corner for Burr, and Burr can't stay on the ball as it was stolen away. Stolen off his foot. Intercepted by Carlos Dominguez. And this one goes out of play now. Still five to one. NHB leads here in the second half. And as the time moves on, 
They are closer and closer to the victory. An automatic berth out of bracket B or group B into the quarterfinals of the CYSA for 1996. And the boys under 14, the Nationals. Go, getting up in the air, using his head, and trying to keep it going in the other direction. However, NHB and a violation. And so the red will have an opportunity. It looked like it was an offsides violation, so and they get the restart. Intercepted. Hugo Casillas was in on that intercept. Again, Vargas. Vargas to the outside to his teammate. Who's stolen away to the far side is Braxma. And Braxma being marked heavily by an offensive player as he tried to motor with it upfield. And that ball stolen away, and Braxma now will have an opportunity to throw it in. Five to one to score. Ocean View High School here in Huntington Beach, California. On a nice, somewhat windy day, but not enough wind to really create too much of a problem out there. But enough to, enough of a breeze more, uh, more than I would call it, to kind of cool it down. Yeah, as it can get mighty warm in Southern California as the spring ensues. And summertime gets kicked into the gear. Come on, Armando. Here in the leap year 1996. USA Red has played a lot of soccer. Been able to accomplish a lot of things this year. But undoubtedly not being able to have Chad Hines, who's a factor. Right, Sean, and three other players. It's really made it tough for USA Red to keep the continuity that they would like to have. And it looks like you're going to have a substitution now coming into the contest is Tim Wall. As they have a little break, players just kind of try to catch a little bit of air here. As Play a lot of minutes of soccer. Berdeja now left foots it to his teammate, but it's intercepted as he just went by the soccer ball. Coming back with it is Vargas, and Vargas on a long ball. Vargas' ball is up in the air, and it has to be blocked there by Lamas. Sent back upfield, and still the counter is able to Continue for Casillas in the middle of the field. Casillas leaves it for his teammate. Nice play. Over to Rocha to the outside, but Lamas runs it down. Nice play by Marvin Lamas. Lamas getting there before the outside striker can make the play. As Rocha stops it, but they're able to go around him, and he has a man to cover. And that's the kind of good positional play you need. Nice play by NHB defenders, and back they come again. Specifically that time by Kurt McGowan, who made a nice play. But here they come, the red again, trying to see if they can get an outnumbered move, but it's a little too far. An attempt there for Zach Gamel. And NHB again can play the passing game, advance it up the field. Sent to the near side now, Brett Peace. Brett Peace now with the left foot. Peace, his left footed shot is up in the air and over the goal net. Peace with a bid, and he shows he can put it on the net. And it's still five to one. Lamas up in the air again, saying I've got to try to save him from a distance up in the air. I've got to try to watch the low side. I've got to come out and body somebody, block it. Lamas has played a lot today and shown that he can play tough. And Lamas is going to try to run it down. He does before Peace can get there. And he throws it to his teammate. 
his teammate falls down, and obviously it touched his hand. Actually, it was a body uh, uh, violation with a body against a red player. Why? In the middle of the field now, the red trying to get in a counterattack going again. They'd like to at least put a couple more on the board. Down by four. Here's Burr. Burr in the center. And three attackers converge and take it away. Nice play by the defense of NHB. However, it comes back out to Berdeja. The shot from the corner. It's scored by Burr. Yeah. Burr was right there as he got the feed. And it is now five to two. Scott. Scott. So William Burr gets his second goal of the contest. And a nice outside feed. I believe that was Mora that fed him the soccer ball from the outside. And no chance for James Daniels as he tried to get to the initial pass. And he's Goal score right behind him. Substitution NHB now. I believe it's uh, Braxma, number 18, is in the contest. Carlos Dominguez feeding it back to his teammate. Juan Carlos Dominguez. Lua, number 19, feeding it up into the corner now. Brett Pease, and in his offside violation. That violation might have been against Vargas on the offside's call. As Peace tried to work it to him. 5-2 to two score here in the second half. As both teams have tallied one goal here in the second half of play. A lot of outscoring that the Red would have to do in order to come up with a victory in this contest. They definitely need at least a tie to have an opportunity to get into the qualifying round. But I, I believe they, they want a victory, and, and that would assure them to get in there. A tie just might leave them out. And as I mentioned before, NHB, all they have to do to tie is do is tie, and they're definitely assured of getting in. Yeah, at this point, they lead by three goals, five to two. They outside now, USA Red, a shot, and it's right there. A couple of players in a box, and they couldn't turn it around. Nice feed from the outside, still on the ball. Tim Wall, Wall over his teammate Rojas, Armando Rojas, and Rojas stops it, and it gets taken away, but Rojas still on it. And now NHB again with the soccer ball. They move it up the field. They do it very nicely. As coming down with it there is Aaron Berrigan. He scored one goal. He gets it to his teammate. Who feeds it back to Berrigan? Berrigan on the corner, and it's taken away. Nice job by Braxma. Braxma, the marking defender, the taller of the two players, able to get back there and do the job. And now here's a feed to the outside by Berdeja. Over to Burr. Burr has scored two goals. Burr into the middle. Here's a shot by Hamel, and it goes by the net. Hamel tried to get it just inside the near post, and it just went by that post and didn't allow the Red to make it a 5-3 to three ball game. Nice little bit of passing by the Red that time as catching him again in a maybe a, a kind of a rope-a-dope type of position, NHB, and they are able to, almost able to punch one in. Go, and this one is kicked by and out of play. Five to two the score. We hope you're enjoying this one from Ocean View High School here in Huntington Beach, California. Greg Porter and George Langevin. Happy to catch all the action here in the boys under 14. As NHB will get the restart from this near touch line. 
It was a good look at the throw in by Brett Peace. And intercepted, and here now by Burr, and he'll try to run onto it. Burr has it, and it's Burr and the goaltender, and the goaltender makes the save. Nice play by Daniels. As Daniels saw Burr bearing down on him, and he was able to stay with that soccer ball and make the play. If he doesn't do that, it's definitely going to be 5-3. to three. Burr has really been able to turn it on when he's wanted to. And only the good cover defense by NHB has been able to keep him from scoring a few more goals in a contest. Now the middle, here's Berrigan. Berrigan with some space. He shoots it. He misses it. But he tried to get the near post as Berrigan, always dangerous down the middle. And he almost was able to get that one in a little bit too high. And a substitution now for the red. Lots of good action in this package that we mentioned at the start. The boys under 14 are coming into the contest now is Derek Trees. Trees, the midfielder. And he'll try and see if he can help to regain that ball and gain control to get the counter going. And here they go in red again. Now with the man, Armando Rojas. Rojas working it over his teammate, Berdeja. Berdeja try to work it the outside, and they still have it. Pass Berdeja, though, and it's going to go a long ways. And hustling after it there is Tim Wall, and they're able to keep it going. And Daniels has to stop that ball. Nice hustle by Wall to keep it going. Here's Burr. Burr in the box. Burr a shot, and he misses a far corner. Burr goes down to his knees and says, I almost had that one again. Burr, a sense that he can beat Daniels, has been trying a few more things in and around that box. Stopping it and utilizing his passing abilities. And also, if he has an opportunity, just try, try to put one by and in the net. NHB now noticing that the Red continuing to want to play in this contest as NHB leads 5-2. to two. The Red not giving up, continuing to try to keep the pressure on, and that's what you got to do if you want to play good soccer at any time. And to the near side now is Derek Trees. Trees is centering pass up in the air and almost dropped there as an attempt could have been for Hamel if he would have dropped it in Daniels. And Daniels able to get the handle at the last minute. As for a secondary, it looked like he wasn't going to hold that soccer ball. And Hamel was right there. The red now, again. Here they come with a counter now. Showing why they've been able to play well. In getting into this tournament, you got to be invited into the tournament, the Nationals, and they've shown they can do that. As here is in the middle is Berdeja. Berdeja's pass, feeding it back to Rojas. Rojas being guarded by two players. He feeds it to the outside, and now running onto it is Braxma, and he kicks it off an HB player. Five to two score. Throwing from the near touch line. Time running down here in the second half. The red really pressured now to have to really try to put something in the net. Here's Berrigan. Berrigan around two players. Berrigan with the long legs. Berrigan with the quickness. And he's being marked there, but Berrigan still stops the soccer ball, feeds it back to his teammate. Berrigan is still on it again. Berrigan running it down. Berrigan still gets something on the net, but it's a little bit wide. Berrigan showing his hustle. And Berrigan showing his ability to wheel and deal in that 18-yard box area. But the defenders were tough not to give Berrigan a real good opportunity. And so now they will have the corner kick offensive try as the defenders doing their job on a dangerous Aaron Berrigan. He scored two goals. Up in the air in the 18-yard box, out of the 18-yard box now as 
They're able to make the play, and this one is kicked past the end line, the goal line, and now will be a goal kick for Marvin Lamas. The USA Red Ball Club last year made it to the semifinals of the Nationals, and and they got beat by an NHB club on their way to the final game. As the violation is against USA Red, and now they will have, they being the Black Western Club, a free kick. This one is on the net, and a nice save by Lamas. Try to banana kick it, and that's going to do it. Five to two is the final score as NHB is able to win this one on four strong goals in the first half. And USA Red was equal to the task as they scored one goal by Burr, and they basically equalized the score in the second half, but not enough because they weren't able to tally the, the goals that they needed in the first half to come out of this one with a tie. And so NHB is going to end up going on to the qualifying round, or rather to the um, quarterfinal round, as they come out of the qualifying round here. And their opportunity in a couple of weekends to win it all from the A.B. Brown Sports Complex. As both teams shaking hands, they played a lot of good soccer. And uh, left of us, the Coronado United Eagles coming on to, to play as they have an opportunity to maybe see NHB down the road. But USA Red falling short today. The two goals, William Burr scored both of them. And Aaron Berrigan scored two for NHB. Hugo Casillas, Julio Vargas scored one goal and also Salvador Padilla. I'm Greg Porter. Hopefully you enjoyed this soccer match from Huntington Beach, California, the Ocean View High School. And until next time, take care and God bless. We're back here with William Burr from the USA Red Ball Club. You guys fell a little short today, but uh, you came up with two goals. You looked like you were feeling pretty good, especially in the second half. It looked like you still had a little stamina in you. Yeah, we didn't want to uh, give up at the end because, you know, when this game advances the champions, and we don't want to give up, so we yeah, keep going. What's been the nature of your ball club? I mean, even though you've um, missed uh, four players now, you know, uh, Chad Hines is playing baseball. Uh, and uh, some of your other players are gone. What's been the nature of your ball club since then? What, uh, have you guys been able to find a rallying point of some sort? We just couldn't give up because, um, you know, we had our starting goalie out, and so we just had to play with uh, the subs in, so play strong, just keep going. I, I understand your coach did kind of a, a flip the coin type deal with um, uh, three players to find out who was going to be the goaltender, and it looked like Lamas got the job, but he did a pretty good job today, didn't he? Yeah, we needed our left wing Leco more in, and we needed uh, Armando Rojas in the middle, and Marvin did a good job, but we need Hector back. <laughs> hey, uh, where do you go from here? I mean, uh, are you guys uh, going to have an opportunity to play in the next round, or do you got to go to another tournament? Yeah, we just hope the Cal Heat uh, wins over there, and then we advance, so. Okay. Um, are you going to be going to high school playing uh, on your high school team? Yeah, I played se this season, actually. Okay. What, what high school is that? Valhalla High School, El Cajon. Okay, they, they did pretty good this year, didn't they? Yeah, uh, we lost like one game, I think, in the season. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. So I, I'm sure you're looking forward to uh, being on that team again next year and a lot of great things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, good luck in the rest of this tournament and possibly making it, and it was nice watching you today, boy. Thank you. Back with some more USA Red players from the El Cajon area, and you are? Leonard, I'm left wing. Okay, um, Leonard Moore, right? Okay. Uh, Leonard, you seem like you had a game today that um, was 
very sound from your wing position, and uh, you were able to try to make some things happen. I believe you had one assist today, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, you assisted on Burr's last goal, right? Yeah. Um, playing that position for you, how's it been for you this year? It's been really good for me, yeah. I've been lots of assists and lots of good passes and stuff. Lots of pressure uh, being applied, but you're able to uh, find a way, the, the soft spot of the defense, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what, have you been playing that position ever since you've been playing soccer, or have you evolved into that position from other positions? Yeah, I've evolved. I used to play forward, and then I moved back to left wing. And so they've, the coaches have kind of found that's a stronger suit for you, right? Yeah. You play on a Valhalla team, or what team do you play on? No, I'm, I'm not playing. Uh, high school? Or anything? No, I'm not playing high school right now. Yeah, is you going to high school next year? Or? Maybe. I'm not sure. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, what, it, what high school would you go to if, if you do? Mount Miguel High School. Okay. And maybe play for them? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let me talk to your teammate here. And you are? Dusty Hambright. I play defensive midfielder. <laughs> All right. Dusty, um, your dad's a coach. And um, what, is, what is the focus that he tries to get you into each and every game? Um, just play hard. As hard as I can. Just doesn't matter. It's all out. Well, it seems like you guys were definitely playing all out uh, throughout the game, um, and it showed in the second half when you basically were able to come out with the same amount of goals they did and, and basically outplay them in the second half. But they're a team that has a lot of talent, don't they? Mm hmm And they got a lot of talent. <laughs> and they're, they're, they're able to uh, try to find the holes uh, in your defense and try to, to do some things that might be able to create some opportunities for players. Uh, if uh, you guys get an opportunity um, to play in the uh, quarterfinal round, um, what do you think your team has to do? We just, we just have to play how are you, we played today in the second half. Just the pressure. Yeah. yeah. Pressure. Make the cover and pressure better. Well, covering the pressure is a big thing. And um, also, you know, it seems like you guys have that stamina to continue to play well in the second half, and that's going to be a key, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How long have you been playing uh, soccer, Dust? Um, since I was, like, five or six. It really helps, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, Leonard and uh, Dusty, thanks very much, and good luck in the future, guys, and uh, the CYSA and uh, future tournaments. NHB Black Weston Ball Club was able to win 5-2 to two over the USA Red out of the El Cajon area. NHB Black's team was one that uh, is very talented. Um, they have a lot of good play in the midfield, and uh, they create opportunities for their forwards. And they are very difficult to crack at times defensively. But uh, the USA Red came back in the second half and showed that they're a competitive ball club and that they're not going to give up. And who knows, maybe if things work out for them, they'll be able to get into the quarterfinals and maybe an opportunity to be at the AB Sports Complex. But we know one thing, and NHB is a team that probably is going to definitely be there. From Greg Porter's George Langevin Video Sports Productions, we hope you enjoyed this uh, sports uh, venture today from the Ocean View High School here in Huntington Beach. Take care now, and we'll see you next time.